Good afternoon to everyone. Um, my name is Titi Cat. It's not my real name. My real name is Wu Ming Xuan. Okay, I'm a deputy CEO from Open Culture Foundation and also the hackathon organizer for GovZero. It's a GOV10020. It's our civic tech community in Taiwan. And uh, today I'm going to talk about a chat buff um, um, against the fact uh, fact-checking chatbot um, come from this community. So in Taiwan, we use Line. Um, I wonder if anybody heard of Line, but um, it's like WhatsApp. It's an instant messenger app, and it's very, very popular in Taiwan. And um, in my Line, my my Line app, you can see there's a lot of a group. And there's a group for your tour friend, there's a coworker, there's a, we don't like it, but uh, yeah, there's a colleagues in the uh, line, there's a family member group. And in your family group, it's like everybody's uncle, aunt, or somebody you, you never met for years, but they were inside the group. And they will share a lot of messaging inside the, um, these family groups, or a lot of groups. So, like this one, it's a cover story from the Time magazine, and they say, um, Thai government uh, humiliate to international. Time cover story this week is wonky monkey iron curtain country for Taiwan. So it's a really great shame for Taiwan. So if you Google the Time magazine in 2000. Uh, 18, you can see actually there's no list cover story at all. It's totally fake, yeah? For, um, but the, because the line user, actually there's a almost like a, you can see start from the 12 years old, there's an almost 80, 90% of people using line. And a lot of people, they don't know how to use internet or they don't have a computer at all but they they using the Facebook or Line at their smartphone. Especially for the people who are not very familiar with the internet. How, what they uh, will do on their phone is actually is a touch, click, slide, and a forward. Like uh, the first, uh, like the first speaker said, some of this, um, some of this fake news actually it just take you one minute to Google it. But uh, a lot of people, um, like senior people or who, people who are not familiar with the internet, they don't know how to Google it. There's another, <laughs> there's another news. So uh, it's, uh, it's our digital minister, Audrey Tan. She's uh, from the uh, GovZero community before. And uh, the news is a sure now step to stop Tsai Ing-wen and Audrey Tan monitoring your Facebook. So the way they say how you stop them to monitor your Facebook is first go to the setting of your Facebook. Second, manager account. Third, request account deletion. And uh, because a lot of people didn't actually understand what this English uh, uh, means, so I think, it, uh, we think it is maybe it's some young people try to targeting to um, lose um, senior group or in their family group, something like that. So uh, they make this, and there's a lot of people are really afraid, like GovZero uh, helping the government monitor the people's Facebook or privacy. But we don't want to do this. We don't want to toggle this issue, fake news or disinformation news, in this kind of way. So people from the community, they are start to thinking how we toggle the disinformation within the closing instant messenger group. It's not like in, on the Facebook or on the go, uh, Google or on other web page you can use. Uh, mainly this kind of user, they use the cell phone. So um, normally we, uh, how we stop the rumor to spreading, the first is you try to Google 
sometimes a minute, sometimes an hour. And uh, we write into easy, reading, uh, easy to read chat message and send back to um, my family group or to my father or to my mother. And every time, in every chat room by chat room. So we, they start to do this like a chat box. It's called Cofax. It's a uh, basically it's a cross-source fact-checking chatbot. So um, last year, by support by the GovZero uh, Civitec prototype grant, they get uh, twenty thousand uh, dollar USD dollar for uh, six months development, and now they have this prototype. How do it work? So um, user can use this chatbot to check um, any kind of message they get. And the chatbot will check from the database. And the database will post every report on the website. And also, um, every volunteer editor um, can, can log in and try to do the fact check on it. Like this one, so if you ask the chatbot why there's no media cover the accident in power plant today, the government is censorship our, our news, right? So um, the first time, the first people who send this message, the database do doesn't have any data from it, so they will ask the user, would you like to send this message to the database? And if you click yes, it will come into a um, database website, and it's open. Everybody can see it. And then the uh, volunteer editor, they can log in and see the, top, uh, the newest report article and they do the fact checking. You can mark it's a sh it should not be processed. Maybe it's a random uh, or app. Uh, or is add a message, or it contains correct information or contains this uh, misinformation. Then you make a reply, and the next time another people check with this chatbot, you can see uh, the reply says this message contains misinformation, and uh, actually the accident happened in September 2017, it's not today, and there's a lot of news report, and there's a reference. So, um, and the, the response can be more than one because it's a cross-source uh, fact-checking. It's like a Wikipedia. You can have a different opinion with other editor, and it's all, uh, but you have to give reference, and you have to give your um, opinion on why you think it's a disinformation or why you think it's a correct. And uh, all this kind of uh, report and uh, um, will be recorded and uh, open to everybody. Yeah. So it's a um, it's a old old process to finding information. So um, we need to read a message and uh, confirm and uh, do the fact check and extract the keywords and open the web browser and Google with the keywords and uh, compare all the results. It's for um, um, for a user, if they want to check whether or not this message is correct. So we come down to only they have to do is forward a message to the chatbot and compare the result and make a decision by themselves. So luckily, my father or my mother, they don't know how to Google, but they are very, very good at forward, forwarding the message to every groups inside the line, okay? So the center, uh, essential uh, idea is let the user ask what they want to know. And everybody can be the editor. You can log in, sign up, and they have an online group or fact-checking tours or editor, uh, editor gathering uh, events uh, once a while. I think it's once a month. So. Um, now they come out to like uh, uh, almost 300 volunteer editor online, and they develop their own um, guideline for the fact checking. And every document, every meeting, they have a records and it's open. So it's a fact checking guideline, and everything is on the GitHub and the API and 
is all open source. So um, a little bit recap is this um, COFAX, the value is decentralized in the instant messenger app and uh, automated. And uh, its challenge is how we control the quality and how we growth, uh, hacking the growth, make it more popular, and uh, how we make the search more precisely. So um, now uh, this. Uh, now it's a beta version, and they didn't do a lot of uh, uh, promotion, but they will start to launch in a couple months later. But the, uh, only for the beta test status from the open database, what we can find today. Like I say, we have uh, um, almost 300 person for the volunteer editor. And um, um, there's a new apply, like 260 new replies for every week. And uh, we now we have 26,000 uh, people um, join this line as their friend. Um, now we have a 100, uh, so, sorry, 13,000 article messenger be reported and in our database. And um, every week, we will get around 250 new uh, article or a messenger report. So it's like um, tightly they can balance right now. But uh, they, um, another challenge is we don't know if we do a lot of promotion and there's more people, more users come in. How can we balance the speed we do the fact check? And uh, this type of message has been checked check so you can as you can see there's um, uh, around 36 percent message is content false information and only 26 um, content the correct information and the others is like ad or or Emma Hansen something like that is you don't have to do anything but it, there's a, a little bit different is a 3.2 percent is opinion this kind of opinion is like um, some messages is like, um, um, I don't like the current government because I think they blah, 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 blah. This kind of opinion, what this group of uh, uh, editors, they will do, they will mark this kind of message as personal opinion. And uh, they will give uh, another reference, like a different opinion, the, the link from, or another article, or another blog post. And they will provide to the user a different, uh, opposite um, opinion article. And um, once the message be checked, it can be requested um, every time through the bot, through the chat bot. So, um, this is uh, the status for the type of message has been requested. So um, the, con the message contains the false information become very, 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 very big. And the, f uh, the message contains the correct information become less. And the life circle for uh, this information, most, um, most message come in and the last time they've been requested is uh, within one day or, or uh, one day to one month. So like a 50% of messages, they will stay for one month. Or there's uh, another 21% message, they will stay for 30 days to 90 days. But we do have some 25%, a quarter message, they will stay 90 days or more than one year. So like this one, this message is the longest one. The first, uh, when the chatbot get this message first, report first, and then the last time they've been they be requested to, some people want to know whether or not it's true, it's 415 days um, um, period. And then another one, another example is this, they only be requested for two times. It means like only like a 300, one year ago, there's, there's somebody report this message. And uh, their editor to, we do the fact check already. And uh, one year later, another people come, 
come up to try to request this kind of messenger. What's that mean? That means it's not like uh, the last person, it's not like he go through this message from one year ago and find it and uh, try to send it to another people, right? It's like um, under, uh, like uh, in, in some way we don't know where this messenger has been spread over and over and over inside the closing messenger group. So it's hidden very well inside this kind of instant messenger group. So it's pointless, uh, it's not pointless, sorry. It's, um, um, it's also very important how we think to target this kind of um, messenger app not only flag this uh, um, uh, fact check status on the Facebook or on the website. And uh, once the uh, editor, they, they do the fact checking, all the records, uh, records will um, become a one single web page and um, they will show one, the original messenger and uh, the uh, fact check, um, the fact check message. So um, as you can see, um, from last year's June to um, now, there's uh, over um, over 100,000, um, sorry, <laughs> over, uh, yes, there's a lot of a page review. <laughs> okay. So um, to answer the the question this morning, what's the civic tech? We think the civic tech should be owned by the civic. It's a very simple. So that's why um, Gov Zero, all the Gov Zero project, all the projects from the Gov Zero community is open source. So people can actually see how the algorithm, how they build this app, how they do the fact check, why they do this, what's their guideline. Everything is open. And uh, all this analyze. I scrap from the layer open data. So actually, we now we can we can do some search, like uh, we can trace the timeline for one fake uh, message where they come from. The first time maybe they come from the from the Facebook or somebody make a blog post, blog post, and they come into this chat um, um, instant messenger app in the chat room, and then how long it lasts. So this kind of timelines or of the article in the long term is what we can do for this kind of open data um, database. So it's a very small scale what our experiment, but you can imagine that if the biggest fact checking organization, um, when all this kind of uh, when they all open up their data, what we can do for uh, talk, uh, combating this disinformation in the world. Thank you.